Okay, so this is the solution to the problem that is on the uh, end of the, the notes. You'll notice that I've got my axis all drawn out here. Uh, I'm going to start to answer some of these questions. This thing opens up and down because the Y thing comes first. The center for this is going to be at positive 4, comma, negative 3. Okay, so I come down here, I'm going to plot my center at 4, negative 3. And uh, you'll notice here that I've already identified that this first term is a squared, so that means that a is equal to 5, and b squared tells me that b is 12. Now since the 5 is underneath the y coordinate, or the y part of this, that tells me I'm going to count up 5 units, so that will put me right about here for one of my vertexes, that will be 4 comma positive 2, and I'm going to count 5 units down this direction, so that would put me at uh, 4 comma negative 8 for another vertex, and since b is 12 and it's under the x part of this. I've got to count 12 units to the right, so that's going to put me out here at 16 for another vertex at 16 comma negative 3, and the other one is going to be over here at negative 8 comma negative 3, the other vertex, and that gives me enough to start sketching out my rectangle, which is going to go through that vertex, through this vertex, all the way across, etc. So I get this vertex, these uh, the rectangle drawn in. Now I'm going to put in the asymptotes, which are going to go through the center and through these corner points. And again, we don't have to have these drawn perfectly, but they do need to be drawn tolerably well, especially since I've got graph paper here. All right. Next thing I got to do is find out what the focus point is, and since uh, since it's got to fit this description, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, I've got c squared equals 25 to 144, so c squared is equal to 169, so c is equal to 13. Again, I picked nice easy numbers. Now since this thing opens up and down, I actually have to count 13 vertically, so I'm adding that to the y coordinate right here, so that's going to put me up here at uh, 10, I believe, for my focus point, is going to be 4, comma, 10. And then in the other direction, it's going to be 4, comma, 4, comma, let's see, i got to add 13 to that. That'll be at a negative 16. So those are my focus points. Okay, now my quick sketch for this is going to come from that vertex, sweep along next to the horizontal asymptote, or the diagonal asymptotes, and go like so. Okay, so I've got my focus points, they're labeled. Uh, the only thing I need to do still is to find the, uh, let's see, to find the, what I need to do, find the asymptotes equation and I need to find the lattice rectum as well. So for the asymptotes, I'm going to fill in my point slope formula. Okay, so I've got y minus my center, which was at negative 3, and x minus 4, and the slope is right here. So I'm counting up, and I went up, uh, let's see, I went up 5, and I went to the right, 12. So there's my equation, my asymptote. Next up is the LR, which is 2B squared over A. So in this case, B squared was 144. Oh, that's a big number. Over A, which is 5. So 288 over 5, which would be, what is that? 100 and, it's a big number. Who cares? But that's that distance that goes from here all the way over to my conic section and this direction. Okay, so that's my LR, which has a length of 288 over 5. Hope we got all that done.